Count on LEX 18 News. Right now in Evening Edition, a UK doctor says that the state is not yet in crisis mode with our ICU bed availability, but that we're close. In today's LEX 18 Investigates, we hear more from a doctor about the state of COVID in our hospitals. Plus, we go in depth on pediatric cases and take a look at a local health facility that's preparing to be possibly overcrowded with COVID patients. And Kentucky's senior senator saying President Biden's call to move troops out of the country of Afghanistan was not the best idea, as President Biden defended the decision today. The evening edition starts now. Good evening, I'm Larry Smith. And I'm Nancy Cox. Thank you for joining us tonight at 7. Yeah, last week, you know, Nancy, we talked all about the hot temperatures. And now the focus shifting to all that rain. Bill, what can you tell us? Well, the rain has been coming down too hard for some of us, and we still have a flash flood warning that's in effect. This is for Scott County, and this is primarily central Scott County. Uh, from Stamping Ground to the Georgetown, especially north side of Georgetown, then up toward the Toyota plant. Toyota plant, then back towards Stamping Ground has been where the worst of this is. Just saw a report by Seabury Road and near Stamping Ground that the pond or a pond there is overflowing. Uh, so we've had some real heavy rain going on, but that's until 845 for that flash flood warning. Max Track Live Doppler, these are big, slow moving, torrential downpour makers. So we look here at 7 o'clock, and most east of eastern Kentucky has settled down, but we come into Scott County here. So the Toyota plant was raining heavily earlier. We've gotten a little bit of a break right now. Everything's shifted back here to the west. So stamping ground, Duval over to.